Next up, at UFC Vegas 61, we have Maxim Grishin taking on Felipe Lins. Maxim Grishin is 32-9 and nine overall. 2-2-1 two, two and one in his last five, and he is coming off that win over William Knight. Felipe Lins is 15-5 and five overall. 3-2 and two in his last five, coming off a win in his first, sorry, coming off his first UFC win. Maxim Grishin is a striker. He does throw in solid combinations, but he also loves just sitting on a big right hand. He does a really good job of waiting and then rushing forward with a combination when there's an opening. So if he sees that you're cut, he sees that you're out of your rhythm, off balance, he will come in and attack, and he can sort of sense that blood in the water. He's coming off the decision win over William Knight where he did survive an early onslaught but was able to put that together and get that done. Felipe Lins is a former heavyweight who's coming off a win in his light heavyweight debut. He did have legit power in his hands at heavyweight, and he seems to have carried that down with him. He's got a BJJ black belt, but he does prefer to hang out inside the pocket and either trade or just walk you down with heavy hands. He showcases wrestling in his last fight against Marcin Prochnia with four takedowns and more than a full round of control time. And this is a tough fight to call, right? Both guys have power in their hands. Both guys can grapple if they need to. Felipe is absolutely the better just raw grappler, but also the worse, more hittable striker. So I think I'm going to side with Maxim here, but by no means should he be as big of a favorite as he is. And this is an incredibly close fight. If Felipe hits that same wrestling rhythm that he did against Prochniow, he could dominate this fight. Maxim's been taken down seven times in four fights, and he may not be able to survive Felipe's jiu-jitsu. So I'm going to pick Maxim here because of the difference in striking between the two of them. Super wide, super wide line. What do you think, Jakey Boy? Yeah, I agree with you. I, I think that this is one of those fights where, first of all, I, I cannot stand Grishin. I, I don't know why. I, I think I picked... I think William Knight was my lock of the week before the weight miss and all everything started getting wild that fight week. But there's a reason. Again, there's a reason why I pick against certain people. And Grisham's one of those guys that he just is like so low volume and slow, slow paced and just kind of throws out leg kicks and just kicks and kicks and throws out a jab. And then, as you mentioned, we'll try to look for that big right hand. He'll throw it, you know, once every two minutes. But if this is a slow, controlled, you know, fight, I think Grisham's going to dominate from start to finish, if Linz wants to win this fight, he needs to make it nasty. You mentioned the move down from heavyweight to 205. Looked fantastic physically. I think he did gas a little bit in that third round, but I think that was because of the wrestling. You know, I don't know. If, man, I, I'm so torn in this fight. I agree that, that Grishin should not be his biggest favorite because if Linz is able to get those takedowns, I think he's in real, real trouble. But is Linz going to be able to get those takedowns? And I, I just a big... Big question mark for me because I think he gets destroyed in the striking. He gets picked apart. He's got to get in there. He's got to get nasty. He showed that he is a dog in his last fight and a few other fights. I, I think if it, if push comes to shove and this comes to a brawling type of fight, I'm going to pick Linz 9 out of 10 times because I think he is the dog of the two. But he's not the more skilled fighter. He's not the more skilled fighter on the feet. So it's tough, man. And I honestly kind of kind of forget who I picked. If I'm, yeah, I gotta check. I'm literally checking my picks right now because I honestly forget who well, I picked. Because it just is shows a, you how confident you are in it, yeah. right? I mean, it is a touch. It is a toss up. I think I went with Lens to throw some dogs in there because he is a dog. Let me check. I did pick Lens, so let's go with Lens. <laughs> not, not real confident in it. Yeah, what a joke that is. Two dollar super chat from Luis Rodriguez. His lock of the week, not Jacobs, is Guido Canetti. Great content as always, fellas. Thank you very much, Luis. We really appreciate it. Thanks for being here. Thanks for the comment. Thanks for the super chat. We appreciate you for sure. DraftKings, 8,500 to 7,700. It's tricky. It's tricky. I, I, you know, I, I think whoever wins will probably be worth the money. Because I think if Maxim Grishin wins, I think he can, you know, $8,500 is a pretty affordable price for a guy that's you know, can score 80, 90 points. 7,700, though, if Felipe's getting those takedowns and Felipe's hanging out on top and Felipe's getting control time, $7,700 is a great price. So I don't know what I'm going to do with DraftKings, but I'm probably going to leave both of them out. What do you think? Yeah, I'm not going to play either one, but I think the value is probably in the Lin size because I don't think Grishin scores I don't think Grishin scores 90 points. I think he's scared of the takedowns. Not that he doesn't have big, bad takedown offense. I think he's got good takedown offense, and that's why Lin's going to struggle. But I think he tries to keep this fight at range. It's just boring, boring, boring. So I don't think he scores well. But as you mentioned, Lin's, if he's able to get the takedowns, good. So there you go. Yeah, that's what I yeah. I agree. As far as underdogs are concerned, he's, he's probably one of the more live one. Monkey Knife Fight Strike Line, 80 to 52. I agree. Maxim is kind of a low-volume guy. He will throw in spurts if he senses something. 
So 80 is a bit high. 52 is probably solid for Felipe. I think it's a less more situation with the monkey knife fight strike line. What do you think? You know what, Angelo? I think I'm going to agree. I think I'm there we go. Agree. You guys want to triple your money or at least try to go to wewantpicks.com slash MKF. All you need to do is sign up. They will instantly match your deposit. Take some of that free deposit match money. Play some of these strike lines at Monkey Knife Fight. All you do is say more or less. And if you're right, you can triple that money. And if you want $50 for free, all you need to do is go to wewantpicks.com slash bets. Sign up with any one of our betting partners. Make a deposit. And I will send you $50 as a thank you. Wewantpicks.com slash bets.